Hey there everybody, it's Colleen and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about Squarespace plans and how to pick the right plan for your farm, garden, floral, or food business. Now just to get started, I'm here first on the monthly plan and this is, I'll switch over to the annual so you can see the difference. Um, most people, when they're just starting out, are going to choose the monthly plan. So I'm going to stick with that for right now. And just um, so you know, with Squarespace plans, if you pay by the month, you can switch to the annual plan at any time. And if you pay annually, you can switch back to the monthly plan at any time. And they'll usually give you a prorated credit. But before you do that, check with Squarespace support just to make sure. So first, um, I'm just going to say this right now. The personal plan... Really, um, I don't recommend this plan unless you are putting up like a simple one-page website with a contact form. It's really, you don't get an awful lot of functionality with it. And it's it's really pretty, like as you see, all the other plans have lots of stuff. And um, this one just kind of stops it, stops at the basics. Um, it's great, like I said, if you're just starting out and you have just a tiny bit and you really don't want to do much, you don't have any integrations or, or things like that, then, you know, by all means, choose the personal plan. But for me, it's just, I don't recommend it. Now, the business plan is the most popular. And if you look, you're going to see why. It really has almost everything that you could want and more. It has the email integration with Google. You have premium blocks and integrations. Um, there is complete customization with CSS and JavaScript. So if you're using one of my new, new to be released templates or you work with me as a design client, um, we can really customize your site this way. There's advanced analytics. Um, you get the promotional pop-ups and banners. There is e-commerce integrated. Um, you can sell unlimited products, accept donations, gift cards. Um, this is temporary right now during COVID-19. But, you know, and then it stops. And honestly, for most of you out there, you don't really need all this right now to get started. Now, when you move into the commerce plan, if you're planning on selling anything, you know, this is whether it's a service or a product, you know, you're going to want to choose between, you know, the business and the commerce plan. Now, going into the commerce plan, you'll see it has all of the same functionalities as business. Then it goes into point of sale. So say you're at the market or you're doing a fair or something like that. You'll have an app where you can collect payments right on the spot. So you don't have to worry about having another pay payment processor. Um, you can make customer accounts. So say you have a CSA and your customer, you know, this is a way to give your customer account access so that they can access all their orders and so on. You can check out on your domain. Now, this probably isn't a big deal for a lot of you. For me, it is. Um, what check out on your domain means is that in the business plan, when somebody goes to check out in your store, they're going to go to, um, as you see, like up here is your domain name. Um, they're going to go to a domain that says www.squarespace.com. They're going to be checking out on the Squarespace server, which is absolutely fine because, you know, you all are. Um, but what's different in the commerce plan is that when they check out, it's going to say www.yourdomain.com. Now, Will a lot of people notice this? No, but you have, if you have a savvy um, online user, this could give them pause. For me, I know it's Squarespace, so I trust it. Um, but, you know, we all know, like, you know, we're like, do not trust on the internet. And for good reason, because there's tons of scams and everything. So, you know, I mean, we've been taught as consumers that when you're checking out on a store, if it takes you to another domain, you probably shouldn't trust it. You know, maybe you, this, this site's been hacked or something like that. So it's just something that you need to kind of weigh the pros and cons for yourself on. Powerful e-commerce analytics. Yes, they are. Big difference in the analytics. Definitely better merchandising tools. And you can sell your products on Instagram. So, um, 
you can sync, like as it says, you can sync your products with the Facebook product catalog. So you can tag your products on Instagram and sell more. If you're using Instagram to market your products and services, this is a huge one. So definitely something to consider. Now, in the advanced e-commerce for $46 a month, you have all the same features again, but then you move into abandoned cart recovery. And what that is, is say someone shops with you or they are, you know, they put a service or something in their cart and then they leave your site. That can happen for a lot of reasons. But if they leave your site and, um, you know, maybe they forget to come back, abandoned cart recovery can send them an email to say, and you can customize this any way you want, you know, hey, um, you know, you forgot this in your cart. Are you sure you want it? Come on back. Here's the link you can check out anytime. It's a really handy way to kind of keep people in the loop. You can also sell subscriptions. So those of you out there who are selling like a monthly service, um, whether it's garden maintenance or a CSA, subscriptions can be key. There's advanced shipping. Um, honestly, I'm not huge on a ton of e-commerce um, with shipping. So you know, this could be something that you could look into and weigh on um, for yourself. The key to it is that it um, automatically calculates real-time rates for shipping. And that can be a big deal for customers because shipping is expensive. There's advanced discounts. Um, and as you see, um, those are discounts that you can give to people for qualifying orders and, and you know, just giving you total control over your promotions. Commerce APIs. Um, this is big if you're using um, other cart fulfillment integrations and, and third third party um, APIs to manage your e-commerce. And limited availability labels. Um, this kind of gives you the opportunity if you're offering something that's um, very limited on a product, you can add this, you know, only so-and-so remain. Now, for me, this right here, the transaction fees, this is what's going to make or break your decision on which plan is best for you. Now, 3% doesn't sound like much, but 3% is tacked on to whatever you're paying. And you can use PayPal, pay, excuse me, PayPal or Stripe with Squarespace. I always prefer Stripe. Um, so you're going to pay, you know, I think it's 2.9% plus 30 cents, I think. Um, and your transaction fees. And you're going to pay those with any processor. But in this plan, in the $26 a month plan, you're going to get a 3% transaction fee added on to that. So ultimately, you're going to be paying over 5% for each transaction that you make. Now, if you're only selling, um, if you only plan to sell like maybe one or two things for a hundred bucks, you know, it's, it's not going to, it's going to add up to six bucks, you know? So it's really not, it's not a huge deal. Um, but if you're like me and you're going to be using this to sell, um, packages and products and things like that, you're probably going to want to give this some thought. Now, again, in the monthly, it's a difference of $4 per month. So you know, you're looking at it, what, $48 a year in difference between these two plans if you pay monthly. But when you start paying annually, the difference goes up. So, you know, here you're paying $8 more a month for the commerce versus the business when you pay annually. That's a difference of $96 per year if you pay annually. Now, this is where I want you to kind of take a minute and picture and envision what your goals are for the next year as far as sales. Like I said, the 3% really doesn't, you know, is it worth it, you know, to, to buy the business plan? You know, 90, you've got $96 here if you're paying annually. Is it worth saving the 100 bucks a month if you only think you're going to have a tiny amount of sales, probably, it probably is. But if you're going to sell, um, you know, packages and services, especially as coaches, and we're selling, you know, our coaching fees start at like $150. 
if you're going to anticipate selling more than about $35 to $3,600 a year on your website, then you're going to definitely want to just skip this plan altogether and go for the e-commerce plan because that 3% is going to add up quick. Okay, as, as you see, you know, 3%, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it does add up fast, you know, by the time the dust settles. So, you know, for me personally, for all of you, I highly recommend, especially if you're going to be doing the monthly, start right now with the basic commerce plan. I think it gives you the best value for your dollar. I think it will be a plan that you won't have to change from anytime in the near future until you, you know, maybe move into a plan where you want more advanced features. But even then at $46 a month, it's a steal because basically Squarespace will be running your business for you. You won't have a million different apps you have to manage or things like that. You'll have this and you'll be ready to go. So, so like I said, annually, it comes to $26 a month monthly 30. So my advice to you is to go with the basic commerce plan to start with, unless you plan on doing very minimal online, whoops, very minimal online sales. And then in that case, you can use the business plan. But for me and for, you know, knowing, knowing myself, because I'm in the same markets as you guys are, this is the package. This is the plan to go with. So I hope that's kind of helped demystify, you know, what it is, you know, what's the best value, the best launch pad <laughs> for your site. Um, you know, it, it can be really confusing starting out with things like this. So I hope this has helped give you some clarity and, you know, give you some confidence that you're making the right choice getting started. And as always, um, I do have tutorials coming almost daily for different Squarespace um, things that you'll need. And I do have a bunch of other products coming for you to help make your life easier. But in the meantime, um, just keep checking my blog and you'll find new tutorials and new information coming just about every day. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon.